Oh, Papa. Let's go. Let's go. Papa. Papa. Hello. Come on. Gigi? No, Gigi's not here. Come on. Let's go get Dobby. Should we get Grandma? Nala, come on. I'm Papa. See, look. Can you see it in the sky? Look over that way, Nala. That way. Nala, watch me. This way. Look. You see the colour? You see the other one? Not sure if it's going to come out. The 5th of January now. As you can see, the water is well into this side of it. Although there's still plenty of it flowing over the weir. It's now down to Five, five, whatever that is. This is where I was the other day and it was completely covered with water. Back here and the water is significantly lower. And this house has almost got its garden back. the bonnets now in the back of the camper. Collected from here. Well, there are lots of other lovely old things. Another thing, that's another thing that's a complete dog. And this is a multiplier. It was terrible. You know, pick up, pick up wheel arches welded to it on the rear. So I've had to make some rear wings, make some seals.
see the ferry is very empty. Not surprising really. large one because it's all the two berth ones are occupied so this is uh, all booked so this is a four berth one and I've got it all to myself on the ninth deck don't think I've ever been quite this high before not in a, in a cabin I mean this is what the ship looks like empty vehicles now, even though it's still an hour before we're supposed to leave, so I shall maybe be asleep before the ship actually leaves the boat. Right. France. Very early in the morning. It's only, well it's half past six French time, so half past five English time. it's like in the boat. It's almost completely empty. minutes in the queue but I'm through I'm in to France so now I have two weeks of hard work ahead of me to empty my house but at least I managed to get through the checkpoints an hour ago. It's very, very cold. Frost everywhere. Didn't have a problem with getting in the drive, thankfully. I thought it might be a bit slippery, but it was okay. This is always a judge of how uh, cold it is. It's frozen, but it's, it's not that thick. But all the leaves are gone. And everything's just resting before bursting into life in a few weeks. But by then, I won't be here to see it. But who knows where I'll be then. Sunday the 10th, another very cold night. Forecast says it only got to minus one, but I think that's unlikely. It's 
rare that I get a frost inside the courtyard. And I think, oh yeah, that's pretty solid again. It's a wintry scene, isn't it? see my friend he's not here I'm sure he won't mind me just showing his garage this was red last time I saw it and there in the background is another project I think he's intending to sell the van and use the 2CV David came around today so we've Moved a lot of stuff to Ken's, so the chest has gone, the table's gone, most of the chairs have gone, the dress has gone from here. It's uh, all looking very untidy, very sad, but making progress. Upstairs is very much the same. It's beginning to look like no one lives here properly. You can see the wardrobe's gone. Dresses was gone from there a while ago. Chest has gone from here. Just the whole place is looking like a dip. This is what my house is beginning to look like. It's Tuesday now. It's just full of stuff to get rid of. Upstairs, it's just looked a bit stripped bare. But this looks more like a brocant or a depot wand. On the bright side, it's no longer looking anything like a home, which is meaning, for me anyway, it doesn't feel so difficult to let go because it's no longer a place I feel I want to live in. 
and this is outside today. Typical Normandy weather. Although it's a lot milder now, it's not, not cold at all. I don't know what temperature is, but I don't know, eight, nine degrees, something like that. 